Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Jube. And so, before we start the tutorial, I would like to ask you please do subscribe my channel because a lot more videos are lined up in my channel. So, let's quickly start the tutorial. So, creating a Facebook 3D image is very easy. We can do it really quickly, it will take only 5 minutes. So, uh, I used this image as the reference image to create a Facebook 3D image. And uh, why I choose this image because this image is having some depth and uh, you should select this kind of image which is having some depth to get a more realistic output in Facebook 3D so first we have to do is uh, we have to make this unlock so just double click here and unlock this layer okay now we got the base layer now what we have to do is we have to select the subject it means we have to select uh, the orthotic Russians portion only uh, from this image so just use the uh, quick selection tool to select and I'll start from here as you all know that I already made a detailed tutorial on how to remove a complex background or how to separate a object from the background so uh, if you haven't watched that video you can watch it from here uh, the link is there in the description also so we have selected the characters portion only from this image so what we have to do is we have to create a new layer and I have to copy this layer selection from here to there so just copy from the copy and uh, select this layer and there you can paste this as a paste special in place so now we got two layers one is the original image with background and another is uh, an image of the character without the background so now what we have to do is I have to create a gradient background for this layer so I am creating a new layer and there I'll be placing a color which is a gray shaded color for that I am using a gradient tool and here I'll be creating a new gradient see uh, this is fine so what we have to do is uh, one line there should be a little bit gray shade and another which should be darker than this so okay so I took two colors the second color should be darker than the first one so I selected this and if you want you can create this as a new gradient and I will select this okay now I have to use the gradient tool and drag it so I just drag this see uh, the brighter color should come in the lower side okay so I just drag it uh, like this okay you should not extend it so okay this is fine so now we got three layers uh, one is the original image and uh, the second one is uh, the background depth that we actually created for the Facebook 3d image and uh, the first layer is about our character so I will just renaming this uh, you can rename it so I just want to rename this uh, just rename it with the uh, okay and what I have to do is I have to duplicate this layer so just duplicate this layer okay and I'll be selecting this layer using the magic wand tool okay I'll be selecting the empty area see if you are removing this uh, see we got the empty area I'll be selecting this empty area and I'll be selecting all the area and just I'll be using the select inverse so I got this layer completely and what I'm going to do is now I'm just enabling this layer too and I'll be picking the lower uh, color to the entire selection so use the eyedropper tool to select that or else you can just use the paint bucket tool itself and just holding on the alt key you can use the eyedropper tool. okay so I'm holding the alt key and pressing this color and I'll be filling this to the 
here so if you are not able to fill in a single stretch you can just use alt backspace to fill the selected area with the foreground color so we got that and now go to select deselect see now we got it like this and uh, what we have to do is i just want to increase the scale of this <coughs> selection now so it is free transform maintain aspect ratio and just increase uh, this to 103 percentage okay and just move this a little bit uh, see uh, if i am putting this above see this is here so the the copy layer will be behind this and i just want to make this like this okay a little bit like this okay and uh, now we got three layers here so now we are having uh, only the original image and along this uh, cut out okay so i am saving this as a png file go to file and save as uh, PNG select the PNG and I'll be name it as okay this is Krish okay okay just name it as Krish and saved the smallest and slow okay now I have to disable these two layers and enable these two now we are having these two layers visible and rest of the layers are invisible okay now i'm going to save this image as png and when you are selecting the name of the png you should be very careful to name it as the original name of the image i mean the crush underscore depth so the name is very important you should be very careful because this facebook 3d image is actually uh, processing from the Facebook when you are uploading the image so the name is very important you should not make any mistake in there okay so now we go two images one is the original image where I actually overlaid the cutout of the character and another one is the image that we created with the background and the cutout filled with the gray shaded color okay now what I'm going to do is I am uploading this into Facebook so i am trying to uploading this on my facebook page um, so these are the pictures that we have saved from the photoshop and these are the png files and you can notice that the name is uh, see the first name and the second image is having the name underscore dub so that is very important and now i am going to upload these two images together so you have to upload the original image and the depth image together into Facebook because while uploading itself Facebook will make a Facebook 3d photo from these two images see you can just wait it Facebook will automatically process the two photos and will generate a 3d Facebook photo see Facebook started creating the 3d photo from those two images that we actually and it is done see now just move the mouse see as i move my mouse you can see that the character is actually so this is fantastic we have created a facebook 3d photo from the poster of uh, krish featuring Rithik Roshan so all those Rithik Roshan fans will be happy to make uh, see you can control the image over your mouse rollover see you'll be getting a three-dimensional movement from this this is really fantastic so you can try this with your photos or any other photos that you available in the internet but you have to make sure that the photo itself is having some depth to create more illusion in the final output so that's all for today
So guys, if you have any comment on my video, please do the comment in the comment box and please like and share my video. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do the subscribe right now. What tutorial of Photoshop you want in my next video? You can comment it in the comment box and I will make the video according to your requirement. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye.